Good morning, everyone. What a pleasure to be here this morning with all of you on this beautiful, well-designed program by Tajurba. Uh, let me take this wonderful opportunity to extend my heartiest congratulations to Umaji and Suresh Ji, uh, and my special thanks for inviting me here and giving me this wonderful opportunity to be part of this program. Uh, let me start with two of my very favorite lines. Ke sabhi dishaun se shub sundar, bhav vichar bhare nit antar, punne dhara bana jaye swar kiye, mere yatno se kar lakar. Wow. <laughs> so what I'm trying to tell you here, whether it is north, south, east or west, whether you are in India or abroad, whether you are on the top of the hill or you are standing at a seashore, whether you are in a lush green garden and looking at some colorful flowers or maybe looking at the most beautiful woman on earth. The fact is there are two things which are much more beautiful than what you can see with your naked eyes. And these two things are your thinking and your feelings. And the best part is that both the things are right within you. You don't even need eyes for that. On this very auspicious day, let's pray. Hey Lord, give me good thinking. Give me good feelings so that I can do good deeds and through my good karmas, I would love to convert this earth into heaven. This is what I believe. I am sure you will also believe in the same. Well, for the occasion, I am recollecting another two very interesting lines. Ke kaam shuru karte nahi, bhai se niche log, madhyam tajte beech mein dekh visham sayog, par uttam ve log jo har durgam pat chhel, now, before I give you the meaning of these three lines, let me admit, uh, I belong to films, television, media, art and culture fraternity and this is one business where we have never ever bothered to divide the society on the basis of caste, creed, religion, region, status, color, rich, poor, never. We have believed only in one dharma, one religion and that is called growth with entertainment. That's what we believe in. But still, I have gone out of way to divide the society on the basis of these three major segments. Kama shuru karte nahi, bhai se niche lo. Who are the people who belong to downtrodden community? People who have hundred excuses for one job. Koi kama bata dijiye, bahana pehle tayyar hai. I know we all are facing. Madhyam tajate beech mein dekh visham sayog. Who are the people who belong to B class, middle class? People with little push and pull may try to get into business, may try to get into something innovative or different, but the minute they see a bit of the hindrance, they try to run away from the battlefield. I have categorized all these kind of people into B class. You know, I have categorized these people into B class. Par uttam ve log jo har durgam pat chhe. Who are the people who belong to A class? People who have zest, enthusiasm, excitement to do something different, something new, something innovative. People who have goals in life. People who want to achieve something in life. People who have targets. People who want to show to the world that they can do it. People who are uh, helpful, supporting. People who are working for the nation. People who are supporting each other. People who are... I mean, all those people who are ready to do something or other. I have categorized all these kind of people into the people of first class because they are the people who ultimately turns out to be the achievers in the society. Uh, what a lovely day when I am facing and talking to so many achievers at the same time. My happiest congratulations to all of you because you have done it. You have proved to the world that you can do it whether it's a small or a big but that's very well said that every big winning has to be from the first step. Well, I'm happy that I'm a founder of Noida Film City and I, since uh, Umaji told me to speak about the case study. Now, the, the cut short, I can only say that we are case study in 27 countries of the world, including UCLA. Because when I designed Noida Film City, trust me, I was outright rejected by the people, including government, different bodies where I was trying to approach and trying to take everything on platter, ke saath film city banana chate hai. nobody could even understand the project. I'm talking about 1986. And 18, in any case, one good day, somebody 
understood me very well and asked me to submit the project, which I submitted to NOD authority. And uh, a hundred acre film city came into existence. It got its clearance in 87, 88 allotments were made. And 91, the first professional studio, Marwa Studio, came into existence and we <laughs> broke the ice. Yes. Very well said, or the speaker has just said that you have to be adamant, you have to have conviction, you have to have a lot of perseverance, and you have to keep on fighting for your subject, for your right. That's what is needed. Yes, my dear friends, again to cut short, because there's a long story, I can only say that Noida Film City today is the fastest growing film city in the world. Did you know that? This is 100 acre complex, 75 acres outdoor, 25 acres indoor, 16 studios. Out of 16 studios, 350 channels are being broadcast to 162 countries, 24 by 7. There are about 17,000 people who are working in this complex. And the cascading effect is that approximately 1,50,000 people, they are earning their bread because of this film city. Can you imagine? Yes, I'm not talking about Marvel Studios and another hundred organization which I'm chairing. I'm coming down to uh, another very important subject because I'm so thankful to our Honorable Prime Minister for giving a beautiful word of Atma Nirbhar to this nation. When you look at the dictionary, probably yes, you will find Atma Nirbhar means self-reliant, Atma Nirbhar means self-sufficient. But I, being ambassador of Atmanirbhar, I have given a different uh, definition of Atmanirbhar to the, the nation now. Because when I say A, A stands for being ambitious. This all applies to MSME, mind you. A stands for being ambitious. We all have to be very ambitious. We have to be charged with new energy. We have to come out from our comfort zone and see to it that whatever you are doing must be done better than what we are doing today. If you can if you plan that, design that, and bring that kind of energy back into your own establishment, I'm sure we are definitely marching from fifth to third economy. That's what I believe. And time has come and you have to dream big, you have to plan big, you have to design big, and dreams are not the one which comes while you sleep. Dreams are the one which should never let you sleep. That should be the dreams. T stands for techno saving. Time has come and we all have to be extra smart when it comes to the techniques because anywhere and everywhere in the world, lots and lots of new techniques have become part of business and we have to be alert enough, conscious enough and, and practical enough to learn these techniques and start putting them back into the system, whether it is the blockchain, whether it is the artificial intelligence, whether it is the metaverse or anything which is on the way. Please be ready to adapt and accept these new changes so that you can do well in life and can compete with any foreign company sitting back in India. When I say M, M stands for motivation. We all have to be self-motivated. I'm very well traveled, but I couldn't find motivation available in any of the shops in the world. So I, I, I made it a point that I have to be self-motivated and I can definitely pass on this information to you. You have to be self-motivated. When I say motivation, motivation we all have to be self-motivated. If you are not self-motivated, then trust me, nobody is going to come back to your office or your home to tell you that please do this for yourself. You have to do everything for yourself. When I say A, A stands for attitude. The next A stands for attitude. And we, time has come and we have to change our attitude. We have to be polite, down to earth, sober. We have to be hardworking. We have to be honest to our profession. We have to be honest to the government. We have to be honest while paying taxes. Let's change our attitude fast and you will be benefited when you're going to change your attitude. When I say N, N stands for being nationalist. If you are not nationalist, trust me, all your efforts will go waste. We have to bring in that feeling of being a patriotic, of being a nationalist. Very Whatever you're doing, that sense of being Indian, that 
that a proud Indian has to be um, reflected from your body language. That is also needed. When I say I, I stands for information. And, and thanks to internet, there is ample information which is flowing absolutely all over the world. But you have to be intelligent enough that which information is required and which information you have to delete from your inboxes or from your mobile. Because uh, extraordinary information which is thrown to you is actually spoiling a lot of minds of Indians, which is not the policy probably of the government or friend health. So be alert, be conscious what has been thrown to you and take only best which is required by you. That stands for I. When I say R, R stands for research. Please include the word research into your system, which is unfortunately missing from Indians. Uh, log book or a dictionary. Anything and everything what you're trying to get into, get back into the history of that product, of that industry, of that system, of that anything and everything what you're doing it, personal or business. Look back into the history, learn about yourself, learn about your own families, learn about your uh, the, the industry and that will give you a wonderful opportunity to take a better, stronger and a smarter step when you are moving forward. That's what I understand with the word letter R. B stands for believe in yourself. Develop a conviction. Whatever business you're trying to get into, develop a conviction. Believe in yourself. Do a lot of research and be confident when you jump into any new business. You're bound to be successful because I, I personally believe that India today is the biggest market in the world. Otherwise, all these foreign nations, they will never look at this country. They know that there is a huge scope in this country and everyone is jumping towards India because I, I get probably a call every day and to such an extent that I have been actually representing India in so many countries. But in return, trust me, they have nominated me as the ambassador of their country. I've been nominated by its presidents of 74 countries of the world or their government as their representative in India. Because they are getting into India through me. So the, I can realize the kind of uh, energy which is flowing into this country today, which is actually hard to believe and hard to handle it. So I think you have ample scope even to do a lot of business within the country, whatever you are producing or selling or, or manufacturing. When I say we believe H, H stands for humanity. I think there is no religion which is better than humanity. So please keep all your religions back into your uh, bedrooms and drawing rooms. And when you are out of the house, we start behaving like a human being. We all are one. We live in one country. We are one family. And we have to tell to the world that we love each other. It stands for humanity and keep that always in your mind. When I say A here, Nirbhar, B-H-A, this A stands for all round. Whatever business you are in, but intelligent enough to learn a little more about what is happening around you, your city, your country, your business, your industry, because you never know when another opportunity has, sir, has just put in. You never know when another opportunity is going to come and probably the second business which you're going to start may become even bigger than what you've been doing for years together. So you have to be with your open eyes. And you have to be smart enough to learn what is happening around you. And last R, which says Atmanir Bharv, the last R stands for result oriented. Make it a point that any efforts, any time, any resources, any uh, thing what you are putting in must bring some kind of a result because if you have that kind of an intention, if that kind of a conviction, then you are definitely going to get some or other results, better results by late evening and you will feel that you have grown on a day wise, forget about monthly or on a yearly basis, you are going in this country today on a daily basis. That should be the conviction, that should be the idea, that should be the way we all should deal it. And I think, uh, uh, I know that time is a constraint, but 15 minutes, I have not taken even one minute more. And with all these words, I can only say that for all those people who are right here and who have done so well, but maybe I would like to close with one line, ke kar gagan bhutal, te chal. 
निराशा के अंधेरे को मिटा दे लिप्र बंजन बल कहीं पूनम अमावस्या कहीं उलझन कहीं फिसलन कहीं कांटे कहीं पहरा कहीं पहरा कटिल बंधन यहाँ प्रतिकूल है सब कुछ कहीं मरुस्थल कहीं बादल मगर तुम मुस्कुराता चल दिशाएं हो उठे उज्जवल मगर तुम मुस्कुराता चल दिशाएं हो जय हिंद जय भारत